Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Brian, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Justin, and I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> and this is the <laughs> Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. <laughs> Brandon and friends host this podcast. <laughs> Hope you like this jolly podcast. Oh my gosh. Happy Friday, everybody. Oh, Depending boy. on yeah. the order in which you listen, maybe it's already been Friday today. I don't know, because it's double feature Friday. Double feature Friday. Friday. When you when you gotta fit eight episodes into seven days, you gotta double down on one day. And we gotta, picked Friday. You gotta double down on Friday. This is a double feature Friday. And what better way to kick off double feature Friday than with our good friend Justin Kirkland? Justin right. Hello, my friend. Hey, y'all. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. F- season five, fifth season you've been hanging out with us. Can you believe it? How's that feel? I'm, it's crazy. I remember the first uh, episode I recorded with you guys, the, the most important film of our time. It's Christmas Eve. It's That's Christmas right. Eve. And... Uh, I was I was like plopped on my on my bed with like a with a blanket over me trying to make sure that the sound sounded right. So well, five years later, y'all look fancy. Look at us, yeah. and you you've done some out. You did a Paris wine and or a romance or some uh, other yeah. movie with us, and then you and I do a little Yellowstone podcast, Justin. Yeah, uh, called John Dutton Must Die, a Yellowstone podcast. And if anybody asks, it's unofficial. It's unofficial. If anyone asks, that <laughs> only is if correct. they ask, it's unofficial. That's right. And that uh, just recently started. So if you haven't uh, picked up on that, subscribed wherever you listen to the Please pods. Do. John Dutton Must Die. I don't watch Yellowstone, so the show uh, is, you know, maybe not as fun for me. But I love Justin so much <laughs> that I still listen. From time to time. From time to time. I'm about yeah. to say, you're going to go ahead and on the record and say you listen every week. I listen <laughs> from time to time uh, yeah. <laughs> throughout each episode where I'm trying to edit it. Sure. But uh, yeah, it's great. I love hearing you, buddy. You're great. Dan, I take or leave. But sure. Justin Kirkland, forget about it. Dan and I have had, I mean, we've had a great time because I think that we, w- the way that I would sell it is if you're a Yellowstone fan, we get into the details of each episode and we add a little bit of humor and it's just unhinged where you're like, I don't think I'm going to listen anymore. But then the episode's <laughs> over and by the time the next episode comes, you're like, I think I'm going to listen again. One more. Yeah, you, we're always on a one episode probation <laughs> for every listener. But and you I, guys also yeah. did the the cool thing where you start a new um, uh, TV show recap. Uh, podcast on the fifth season. Fifth season, yeah, which yeah, yeah. is the, which That's is how fresh. you should do it. That's how the yeah. pros do it. That's yeah. when, and you've been writing TV for years, Justin. That's when TV shows typically get good. Right? Season five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's when. That's when Grey's Anatomy really yeah. hit its narrative yeah. stride. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> West Wing. I feel like found its found its footing in five. A lot of great season fives out there. Uh, sure. I gotta. I gotta Speaking. ask. Oh yeah, go ahead. No, I. You were. You were. You mentioned West Wing season five. I know I'm getting ahead of ourselves, but can I tell you how grateful I am to see Maura Kelly on television? No again? kidding. No kidding. Yeah, I know who she and is. And doing great, too. Yeah, you said it. Hey, speaking of uh, talking, um, <laughs> yeah. Justin, you're from East Tennessee. Um, are yes. you going to be making the trek down here at all during the holiday season? Oh, no. Uh, I already know this. So <laughs> this year, I will not. My parents. Uh, if, if any of you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen my dad. He's got this, like, big burly beard. He's a legend. Uh, Tennessee is sending him on loan up to New York with my mom and my brother to celebrate Christmas with me up here this year. Wow. Which is going to be nothing short of an unmitigated disaster. Uh, are they staying uh, in your giant apartment? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be great. It's going to be so you much know, fun. You know how New York has those famously Dude, large apartments. So big. Uh, yeah. And when you're a freelance writer, you got like a brownstone, right? Like you got a full oh, yeah. like floor to yourself. Plenty of don't space you? to work. <laughs> I sometimes just create a mess in a room and look at it and I'm like, I don't have to see this again. I won't see this room for another two years. <laughs> That's right. And then I just leave it. <laughs> we'll back back so, uh, That's how it goes. Is yeah. this uh, like the first time they've spent a holiday with you in the city? Yeah, wow. it's, uh, I've got a I've got a whole thing planned for them. Uh, we're gonna go see 
uh, the lights at like Saks Fifth Avenue and then uh, see the big Christmas tree. But we're really looking to do like a whole bunch of stuff here, you know, just in Brooklyn. I think it, it'll be nice, especially over the past couple of years. I haven't spent the holidays with my family since like 2019. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so it'll, it'll be really good. And uh, God willing, my dad will run into a, a woman who is down on her luck at a PR business <laughs> and uh, they can, they can kick off a romance where she can decide whether to follow her career or fall in love with him. Yeah, that's exactly right. Fantastic. Now I will say, I think we're coming up on the fourth anniversary of your dad seeing cats. And uh, yes. if there's any way that we could just revisit it, like on a yearly a basis, yearly basis would that be would actually be better, yeah. for, better yeah. for me. Because that, I think, I've read a lot of your stuff. I think oh, that's my that's favorite hysterical. thing you've ever written wow. and should go have gotten awards. He he struggles with podcasts, so I know he won't be listening. Uh, <laughs> but I am getting him tickets to Cat no. in Knoxville. No. Uh, they're they're touring and it's and it's time for him to experience in person because we had tickets in April of 2020 but if everybody remembers what happened a couple people got sick uh, a couple people got sick and people. you didn't go to the show uh, for that yeah just safety <laughs> precaution and I was like <coughs> are we making it and he was like no so uh we're they they're the cats are back and, uh, uh, we're are they sure are they as jellical as ever I hope so. Uh, no, obviously, uh, uh, stupid question. I know we have to get going, but I do have to ask this question because you're here, Justin, and I could ask you any time, but I want to ask you now. <laughs> Last night I saw a trailer for a Dolly Parton t- a holiday yeah. TV Christmas yeah. special. Is that what? How excited are we as the resident Dolly expert, and what do we know as compared to Christmas on the town? You know, as a as a freelance as a freelance writer, I feel like you're always kind of looking for like a story and like how can I make a couple extra bucks. But I've reserved this for me. Wow, <laughs> this is going this is going to be me two bottles of nine dollar wine and just hoping for the best because it. I'll be frank, it doesn't look it doesn't great. look great. It doesn't look great, but. <laughs> but we, I mean, we, we love Dolly. So we're always going to support. Of course, and by yeah. the time that second bottle of wine starts dwindling down, everything's going to be great. It's so gonna be like, awesome. I can't complain. Well, the good news is, is that Dolly Parton and Jimmy Fallon are never like not amazing together. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah. my, my Southern family Christmas. Uh, really excited to talk about this. Uh, it originally aired on November 24th, 2022. And it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with Wes Brown just kind of walking around an office. And I'm like, what? Didn't we just Uh, watch watch it earlier this week? Uh, We meet a woman named Campbell who is uh, uh, an airplane magazine writer. She writes for the magazines that you get in the airplane. And she's working with her friend to develop an original Christmas story. Wes Brown, their boss, is like, I need a good story ASAP. The planes aren't going to playing themselves uh campbell gets a voicemail from a woman named jennifer and she says that she thinks that she's her dad's wife probably the most confusing sentence you could get on a voicemail but uh we find out that campbell's uh uh, 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 uh not adopted, but her mom remarried. They left. The Danny's dad didn't want adopted? The mom, the dad didn't want to be involved, I guess. And so uh, she calls back, and Jennifer tells Campbell that her father, Everett, will be the town's Pierre no- Noel. How do you say it? Pierre Noel. Pierre Noel. Not it's, Pierre. It's a Cajun tradition. Pierre Noel. Pierre Noel. Well, Pierre Noel. 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 Gator. <laughs> So he uh, he has. Is it offensive if I do the Cajun thing or no? I can't. Where do we fall on that? Where, where do we fall on? No, no, no. We fall on uh, Justin, I, I know you're not from New Orleans, That's but offensive. offensive or not? I don't know. There, <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. He did it. <laughs> he on got the same page. it. I feel better about it. Uh, so he's going to be the new Pair Noel. Um, and so he has been feeling like he doesn't deserve it because of Campbell. And so she wants to stage a reunion to get those two kids back together so that he, her husband feels better about being Père Noel. Uh, Campbell declines, but then remembers the story that she has to write, an original Christmas story for Wes Brown. So she just is like, um, uh, hey, uh, what about Père Noel? She doesn't like run with the, hey, I want to meet my dad uh, story. She just runs with 
with a random town's Père Noel. And Wes Brown says, go run with it, kid. Uh, Campbell tells her parents, and they worry that she's going to get hurt if she makes the trip, but she goes anyways. It's a bit awkward at first, but, you know, things come together. Jennifer tells Campbell that it's okay if she doesn't tell him at first that she's uh, his daughter. You tell tell him when you're comfortable, and uh, also you're not going to be staying here in this house. This is for family. Uh, you're going to be staying at an, uh, another little cat cabin thing. Uh, Ka- uh, Campbell meets her uh, half sisters, Mary Margaret, who's really good at the social media, and Amelia, who's, who's got a lot of moxie. Uh, Campbell runs into Jackson. Jackson is going to be like showing her stuff, I guess. Uh, and turns out that he is a hunk who, you guys aren't going to believe this, but he wears black rimmed glasses. What? We Not haven't second. seen it. We haven't no. seen it yet this season. It's a new, new, it's a new this thing is they're trying. He's still attractive. Still attractive. Saying. What a nerd, wow. though, And right? it almost makes him more attractive. Almost. <laughs> That's wild. Haven't seen it before. Uh, he is going to help show her around town and, uh, you know, brings her some coffee. And uh, I hope it's Folgers, if he knows what's good for him. Uh, he gives, the best part of waking up. That's what I've always said. He gives her a bunch of documents um, on the town, and he she finds the one on Everett and, like, his life story. Everything you need to know about Everett is, I think, what the folder says. So she takes that uh, and stuff. So uh, she ends up babysitting her stepsisters, and they have the best night having an icing fight, talking about photography, falling asleep watching movies in black and white, the only way that black and white movies are able to be <laughs> sat through. Uh, but the next day, Jackson figures out uh, the secret that Campbell is keeping and has says hey i know what you i i know what you're doing i know what you did last summer so she tells jackson that she uh is nervous to tell everett the truth and so uh she ends up spending more time with everett selling meat pies making meat pies doing every possible meat pie activity under the <laughs> sun did i mention meat pie maybe even meat maybe pies. even meat pie but uh she feels like she's lying by not telling her uh that not telling him him that he's making meat pies with his daughter <laughs> because you know you never want to do that so uh she calls her parents back home and while on the phone she jumps into the bush when she see when she hears everett and jennifer walking outside kind of having a bit of an argument talking about how he misses his daughter and having campbell around digging into his past isn't helping he shares that he once tracked down his daughter uh went and saw her at a a, a play that she put on went to go tell her she did a good job but then she do- saw he saw her jump into um, her uh, her dad's arms and realize that you know he's not needed there's a perfect family over there doesn't want to mess that up so he decides to love her from afar is what he says uh, it's her last night in, uh, in, in, the, in the in the old bayou and uh, she ends up slow dancing with Jackson to some folk Christmas tunes and despite the folk Christmas tunes playing very loudly they end up kissing which I honestly did not see coming and then they just start holding hands as they walk up to the Père Noël boat ride what? Uh, she goes to tell Everett uh, but then more journalists come to cover this story and uh, uh, interrupt him. So she decides that she's going to go home. You know what? I tried. I'm done here. Uh, Jackson convinces her to stay and not leave everyone behind. She shows up on Christmas morning and she gives Everett a, uh, a photo, a framed photo of him as a, a younger guy holding her as a baby. Everett puts it together, walks out of the room. She gets ready to leave. Then Everett comes back and says, hold on now. Um, I have written letters over the years and also filled up this here book that I've been writing in. And so I just want you to have that. They hug and he apologizes and they all take a selfie together taken by Jackson. And that, my friends, was my My Southern Southern Family Christmas. Christmas. We did it. We did do it. We're going to take a quick break. Um, hopefully, Justin recovers by the other side of the break. <laughs> and um, we'll break this movie down here on Deck, Deck the Hallmark. Hallmark. If you like your skylight frame, clap your hand. Yeah, I heard the claps all across the country because how could you not love the skylight frame? I know I do. I've been telling you about it for a while now. I've been giving it to everybody that I possibly can because it really is the perfect gift. It's a photo frame that can update 
from wherever and whenever with pictures that you took this very day. Did you just take a picture of something that you thought was cool? Send it to the Skylight Frame. It's the perfect gift for anybody that you can think of. I've given one to my mom and she absolutely loves it. And I think that you will love it too. And if you don't, there's a 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So if for some reason you don't like the Skylight Frame, they'll offer you a full refund. You can preload it with photos of special memories to make that gift really pop when you give it to them this holiday season. And I have a special offer for you. You can get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code Hallmark. That's right. That's $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code Hallmark. That's S K Y L I. G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E dot com. Promo code Hallmark. <laughs> Is there a ghost in here? <laughs> We're back, everybody. We're talking about my Southern family Christmas. We're going to break it down with four segments. We're going to start with a hot take. I'll start with you, Brian. Brian, what would yeah. you think about my Southern family Christmas over there on a Hallmark channel over there on the Bayou. Bayou. The Bayou. So this one, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad the family got back together. The music had a real nice Southern twang and I like that a lot. So the I really enjoyed the music. I feel like it just flowed throughout this whole, this whole movie, which was really nice. I like being down in Louisiana. I like being on the Bayou. The <laughs> acting performances were awesome. I think everybody did a great job. I just didn't like that he left and didn't go back. <laughs> And so it's just at the end of the movie, I'm like, this is all great. And this is supposed to be like a really emotional getting back together. It just didn't win me over because I just felt like he shouldn't have left. And mm. I just didn't really like that about it. Like so, left in general or yeah, left when left, yeah, left her, the first time? Left, left okay. her the first time. And it, not the room. You know, right. like he did leave the room. He's got like a history here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot <laughs> He's of He's coming back a lot faster now. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, so true. he's getting better. He's working on it. Yeah, but yeah. I just didn't like that. So I liked a lot about this movie. I just, that one tiny little huge Do you mean the main thing, plot of yeah, the movie? The whole thing about him being not, you know, <laughs> being, not being the father that he should have been. Really? Really just, yeah, uh, just grind yeah, Without it, there would, the movie wouldn't have been made. That yeah. thing, yes. Yeah, that got tiny it. little got it, thing. Got it, got it, got it. So I didn't really like that part of it. So I was kind of like, eh, hey. boy, I don't like that. Other okay. than that, I like the other parts of this movie. Uh, Justin, what do you think about it? I'm, I'm right there with you. I feel like, you know when you're playing putt-putt with a little kid and they keep hitting the ball like right around the hole and then eventually you're just like, fine, and you like knock it in and so you can move on? Yes. I feel like that's what they did with that plot yes. point of the dad leaving. <laughs> It was like, oh, he, his dad was, his dad was sick and he wasn't quite ready to be a father. Dark, dark time. <laughs> and like, we never, we never really like found out why he left, which I think is like Hallmark not wanting to get too dark, but in, in pursuit of not being too dark, I think they made that guy too big of an a-hole. Cause like, it's great that you, it's great that you wrote letters. Like, why didn't you send them? Like, I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't connect. But overall, I thought, I thought the film was, uh, it was quite nice. I think that I wouldn't agree that all of the performances were, uh, notable, uh, (laughs) but, uh, the Lion King's Maura Kelly, uh, also known for her, uh, role as Karen Rowe on, um, One Tree Hill, magnificent. She's timeless. Uh, J.C. Elliott, who is the uh, often forgot about lesbian intern from Grey's Anatomy that they kind of wrote off very like quietly. Also great. Um, that guy, I can't remember his name off the top of my Bruce head. Bruce Campbell? Glasses. Oh, no. The guy that we're not talking about. about say, Wait a minute. <laughs> How dare you? Can't Bruce, remember his Bruce. name. <laughs> you want a hot take? Bruce Campbell dragged that wagon the entire way through that film. Yeah. He he phoned it all the way in, but uh, the guy who is uh, attractive but somehow becomes more attractive when he wears glasses, uh-huh. yeah. great job. Yeah. So uh, overall, I... Uh, so do the math on who Justin fine. didn't think did a good job at this movie. <laughs> no kidding. Process of elimination. Uh, oh, you, don't want me to, you don't want me to start about the mayor. We don't have enough time. <laughs> no, no, we do not. Uh yeah, this movie I, I I don't disagree with what anybody has said. I all I I enjoyed the performances. I enjoyed the leads, and um, I always enjoy my time down at the Bayou, uh, having a good time over there. Down yeah, the all, 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 all that uh, yeah, like we go there every uh, year. Well, you know, we've been we've been <laughs> the second time, second time this year, and then we were right there Christmas on the That's Bayou. Right. That's it. So I've been there a good bit this year. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got to rub it off all y'all, uh, y'all boy. 
Uh, lots of meat pies, which I found out are just empanadas uh, for white people, uh, which I also like. So all around good time uh, for Brand, aside from, you know, the obvious. Dan? Sure. Yeah, so I love Bruce Campbell, and I think Bruce Campbell, who doesn't naturally have a big-time Southern accent, he did f- good. Like, he's great in this movie, and J.C. Elliott's great in this movie. Um, I I had a hard time with, not that he left. I think that was just something you either had to accept or you didn't. I had a hard time with, how does he not know? Yeah. How does he, I just kept saying it all movie long. Like, he's seen her as a child, not as an infant, but as a child. Like, enough to, like, know your daughter. Like, that was the thing that I couldn't get past is, is that this big secret, like, if you loved and cared that much, how do you not know, man? Like, how do you not know this information? And so that bothered me, and then the fact that uh, they kind of tacked on this romance on it, where these two people have three scenes together, and then all of a sudden it's like slow dance, kiss, and then you're in the family photo. Like, it went <laughs> very, very quickly. And so some of this stuff didn't quite work. Performances of the of the leads I thought were really, really good. Um, so, yeah, it's going to probably, right now it's in my top ten. Will it wow, stay there by the end of the high. year? Probably not. Top ten? I mean... There's what, 20, wow. we've done 26 movies. I'm not like, I'm not, that's not super high praise, but if, you know. That sounds like high praise though. I mean, top 70%-ish. Top that's 30, high, that's high. Top 30% or whatever. That's I high. I mean, like, yeah, I guess. And like, it's been a year where you've liked three movies. I've not liked three. I've liked two movies. I, you, I did you I, liked three wise men. Three. Uh, I did not give it a. No, we didn't. You did. It, we didn't you sing did. on that. We one. did sing. No, you we didn't. Did? No, I no. think I did. You sang, sang on Ghosts of Christmas always, and, and you uh, didn't want to. But I sang on Three Wise Men, even though you didn't say you liked it. That oh, was you oh, sang we interpreted anyway. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. interpreted. As it was um, an interpretive like. Yeah, it, I mean, like it, it just doesn't do a lot wrong aside from the fact that you have to clear this hurdle of if this guy really loves his daughter, like how does he not know, like recognize her like at least a little bit um and that's even tough. he doesn't even like squint when he sees her he doesn't her. even like nah, that could be <laughs> yeah. no like i just that's well, I mean, tough. campbell yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 i mean come on so couldn't it, it couldn't, couldn't be. be her name's Maybe different Alice. that's right her name's different <laughs> Her name's different there's nothing there it is. yeah there's nothing i can do about Correct. that yeah uh it's time for all the feels part shall we talk about what in this movie gave us feels what are you feeling about brian so i've mentioned this a time or two before live christmas music band Will always do it for me. <laughs> Anywhere, any place, any time. This anytime. week, eventually. This uh, week, it's, uh, it's really hit yeah, me. If did. there's live Christmas music anywhere, I'm down. I like, I love that. So when that there was a live band playing and they were slow dancing and everybody's having a good time, that I just want to hang out in that that's at that swamp wherever they were down on the bike. <laughs> uh, and the other scene that I was psyched for was the baking boot camp. I'm down for a baking boot camp again, anytime, any place. So baking boot camp. Baking boot camp. Wow. Anytime, oh. any place. Bold. Anytime, any place. Bold. It's a bold, I'll do it. bold statement. Wow. I'll do it. I, I think that sounds like a lot of fun. The birth of your first child. Somebody says, "Hey, oh, baking boot camp. You got to go right now." Anytime. You said anytime. Any I have place. been there for the birth of my first. I have not been at a baking boot but camp. If we go, so, that's, <laughs> but if we go back in time, Brian. So they're handing me him. No, 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 all right, no, no, here no. we go. Hypothetically, She's in labor. <laughs> And you and someone's like, hey, hey, right now quick, is the only right time the hall, we got, baking boot camp. I'm like, one or the other. So I look to the nurse. I say, nurse, how much time do we have? She's like, <laughs> be real with me. How Ball much time? for me. How Did much? you call her hot nurse? <laughs> no, I said, I, I look to the nurse. I say, oh, I thought you said, hey, hot nurse. Hey, hot, hot nurse. <laughs> you guys heard that? <laughs> Did I say <laughs> hot? I may have. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Whatever you're talking hot about, nurse. nurses, do you just call them <laughs> hot, hot nurse? nurse. Um, mm. This so, isn't gonna go well uh, for my review. A hypothetical, <laughs> uh, hypothetical here. You're down at the bayou. You're at this event. Yes. A gator comes up, chops off both your legs. You're lying there. A uh, hot nurse comes up <laughs> yes. and says, "Hey, we got to get you to the hospital, yeah. or we or could take." you to the baking boot camp yeah baking right. boot camp will be the last thing you do before you bleed out <laughs> it sounds like i'm probably gonna bleed out anyway so let's just that's not how you should have taken that man but, all right fine uh J- justin i mean i wrote down for mine again lovely to see maura kelly on television but uh I'm with you, Brian. Like I like I like a good Christmas band. I like Zydeco and also Zydeco adjacent music, which I think is probably a, a pretty liberal way of saying what was playing. It was mostly just like folk music, right? It was folk. But like I just 
I like I like that. And then uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the cinematic masterpiece called um, Where the Heart Is, starring Ashley Judd and um, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Yeah. Uh, but I I have a really weird relationship with that movie. And um, what's his face? Mr. Glasses gave me forny vibes. So I just felt like you can't say that word uh, on the show. Yeah. Wait, Sorry. To, Hot nurse is to, fine, uh, but that. Forney? Uh, oh, Forney. Forney. Got it. Forney. Forney. Not, but. Uh, P, it's a PH. I, I got, it's a PH, Forney. It might have been, uh, you're, no. ta- you're talking about Jackson with the glasses, so it really could go either yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I just, I don't know. I thought there was, I thought there was something quite nice about him and then nothing, nothing gets me my feels more than a meat pie. So (laughs) meat pie, um, meat meat pie. I've got the most shocked kiss feels I've had in a long time. I could not believe that, uh, that, uh, Campbell and Jackson kissed. Yeah. Out of nowhere. I think that was maybe their third scene together, fourth scene together, maybe, (laughs) And they're doing it by folk music. I don't know. I just didn't see any of it coming. And um, and then they come walking up, strolling up to the bayou, holding the hands. I, it just seemed like a lot had happened that yeah. we weren't privy to. Yeah. Because aside from that, I just don't know how you end up in that situation. But listen, I've only kissed one person in my life. Hey, baby. <laughs> you're, you're, the only, you're, you're, you're the only hot nurse I see. <laughs> Nailed it. That's why you've only kissed one person. Right? <laughs> That's something to do with there it. There it is. Nailed it. <laughs> could I think be. we cracked that case wide open. Could could be. Could be. Yeah. Um, I did get a, a really good feel out of the, uh, I, I guess, who would be considered J.C. Elliott's stepmom in this situation, who is who is kind of like making all of this happen, and like it complicates things for her. And yet she's doing it anyway because she knows that, like Bruce Campbell desperately needs closure and reconciliation and doesn't know how to use the internet. So like, she's like doing this. And so when they go up there to get a picture and she's like, I'm getting emotional. I don't know why. And then the Ryan Rotman character says, uh, it's because you love her too. That scene really worked for me as, as someone who is like, Hey, I've got my, like my significant other, my spouse and my children and our life is really great. I know that this would make things more complicated, but it's necessary and good, so I'm doing it anyway. I really appreciated that storyline. There you go. There you have it. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, Let's take one more quick break. We'll come back and we'll do the wait, what's, and the what. The Hallmark here on Deck the Hallmark Hallmark. on W-O-O-O. The Mayu. Welcome back, everybody. We're talking about my Southern family Christmas. It's time to talk about the wait what's, where we talk about what in this movie made us go wait what. And I'll start with the biggest wait what of them all. Brian? Yep. (laughs) Uh, So that... (laughs) According to the internet, you are not wrong. So Campbell's mom was like such a... (laughs) Why? I don't know. It just got to happen. Why did you do that? (laughs) Campbell's mom was such like a... A poor sport when she said she wanted to go reconnect with her dad and meet her dad. (laughs) And I was just like, why? Like, why? Her dad takes off on her. That's terrible. The mom does not support her when she wants to go connect. It's just like from all angles, she's just like kind of on her own in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I had some. Are you sure you want? Yeah, you sure? We got a good thing here. Maybe Uh, even don't. (laughs) (laughs) So, and when. You mentioned it. Like, how does he not know it's her? I know. Like, not even an inclination in his mind. Like, they're about the same age. Like, her eyes. Like, anything. Just- I'm, yeah, I'm not saying you walk. she walks in and you're like, there she is. I'm yeah. not saying. I'm saying, like, you continue to spend time with her and right. you start putting the pieces together of a reporter from Texas yeah. is here and she's the same age as the dog. Like, yeah. there's so much there that you would have to ignore. Yeah, and he does pretty well. Oh, yeah. And the last one was just the... <laughs> The three reporters from Mississippi showing up with their That's media passes that literally said media pass. I mean, come on, man. You're not even trying no, my Southern family so Christmas. Campbell didn't even have a media pass. She's just out She's there. a poser. It's a good thing she left. Um, Kick her out anyway. That's right. That's right. Um, Justin, what are you waiting and whatting? I, I mean, 
there's there's two things there's a, there's 12 things but i narrowed <laughs> it down to two things first and foremost uh i, I can't remember what her name is but maura kelly totally sociopathic like the entire thing like reaching out to somebody not letting people know and then just like playing into it and it became cruel at the end because it's like oh only the family only family matters real family though and like jc elliott's over there looking like she's about to burst into tears and more was like um, um, um uh, okay and like <laughs> just kind of brutal but the thing that i really want to focus in on and I don't want to like pull like too much per like professional experience on this, but <laughs> when is this story going to run? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> well after Christmas. <laughs> well after Christmas. Still putting the finishing touches on that <laughs> Père Noël story for January 10th. <laughs> the, the window is gone. <laughs> Meanwhile, if I pitched a story like that, my editor would be like, Justin, you fell asleep in front of your computer again. And I'd be like, checkmate. But like, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a bad story. Absolutely no reporting. Did she write down anything? Did she record anything? And then you get to the end and she's like, I'll be back on Christmas morning so I can start writing my story about Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> it just, it all lost me. Someone I, in the chat magazine, is saying they, dying. they talked so about you working. You really have to show up. They're and do your best work. And she, she just, she wasn't. No. Someone in the chat is saying they talked about working a year in advance. Oh, wow. really? Wow. wow. That airline magazine is serious. For a gotta feature, get, the feature is a year in advance. Uh, Unbelievable. Wow. I don't know well, what she, she was up. She was up for the cover. And let me tell you, just since we're weight wadding, those photography skills aren't going to, that's not cutting high. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> no. 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 Um, here we are. I have a couple. Uh, I, I could have sworn that when we first meet Jackson, he doesn't have lenses in his glasses. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. I, like the rest of the movie, I think that he does, but there was something in that first scene. It would They were so transparent. Poke him straight in like the eye. In the rest of the movie, yeah. there are occasionally you can see reflections in the glasses. These ones were so clear. Yep. You couldn't see any. I don't know. I Somebody let me know. Jackson, if yeah. you're listening, let me know. <laughs> um, if, while they're working together at the meat pie truck, Bruce Campbell says this line, meat, meat, just regular meat. And I just, I just got a hoot out of that. What type of meat pie would you like? Would you like meats, meats, or regular meat in your pie? Which is a fair question. Listen, uh, Justin, I don't know. Maybe you will take offense to this. I don't know. I'm not here to poo-poo on airline magazines. I think that they serve a purpose. But can we stop calling them journalists? Can we... <laughs> <laughs> i'm very very i'm very loosely a journalist like i would i wouldn't call myself a journalist and like i technically am so like yeah we're getting we're getting real wild about this an, a, I, an airline know, looking, magazine that's based in I'm texas over here I'm looking over here in advance, uh, over, and they're saying, and blah, blah, blah. wow, I just like completely <laughs> melted down. By you. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Here we go. <laughs> That's all, I'm, folks. I'm over here looking at the chat, and they, and I see comments. They talked about working a year in advance. They did. Yes, Wes Brown said it at the start, and I hear you, but at the end of the day, if you have a year to put together this magazine, it's not journalism. Yeah. It's, wow. And you're also it's a, it's a, not getting a cover of a story of a just a town in Louisiana's Père Noel. What is it? Is it, no, is it Spirit Airlines? Is that where this is going? <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> as a card-carrying <laughs> Spirit Airline member. <laughs> this, man li this man lives on meat pies. There's a good chance he won't see next Christmas. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Like, this is not going to be relevant, but yeah, I'm, I'm here with you. Um, I have two more very quickly. Uh, I fairly certain that mandolin was a bomb because they, they can't do the <laughs> close-ups of the guy playing the mandolin and he's just like <laughs> scared for his life scared if he plays the wrong note that thing will <laughs> explode and his life will be <laughs> over last but not least is the biggest one for me he says that after the letters that he sent got returned he didn't know their address anymore so he wrote in that notebook that he handed her every day he says he wrote in that notebook Every day. That notebook is this big. Way for thin. Did he write like a line a day? My day was good. Sold meat. Day two. My day was good again. 
So double meat. Meat, meat. What? <laughs> meat, 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 double meat, regular meat. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> what is in this journal that he's written every day and is probably smaller than the airline magazine? Yeah. Yeah. Like it is so small. Every day that guy wrote in that. Be- Biggest way what? Before he wrote in that, he did try to send her letters and he said they were returned to him and he still has them, which is funny because they are not postmarked at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, so no return to send maybe stamp. even you didn't send maybe them. even liar maybe even Still. you lied um when he, when she meets uh what's his name this actor's name is ryan rotman no glasses glasses wearing guy when when jc elliott meets ryan rotman the mayor then turns over to the mom or the stepmom and goes i can't tell if they're flirting or fighting why would they be fighting they literally just met I don't, why is that an option? Why is fighting one of the things it could be? I don't know. Just pick fights with people you don't you just met. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand that. Um, I had a hard time with the fact that Bruce Campbell didn't know who his daughter was. But if we're going to accept that, if we're going to accept that Bruce Campbell thinks this is a journalist from Texas who's writing a story on him becoming Père Noel in Sorrento, Louisiana. If we accept that, then I can I tell you what's not happening? He's not letting a journalist from Texas watch his daughters in the evening. He's not, I met you 36 hours ago. I don't know you from Adam. You're a journalist from Texas who's writing an article on me. My wife and I are going to go out on the town. Could you watch my girls for me? No. No, 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 no. So- Southerner would, would rather be caught dead. <laughs> what if that's the reason that he's not in Alice slash Campbell's life anymore? Like, he, it wasn't that he had a dark time. It was had nothing to do with his dad. He had to, like, run to the store, and he let a stranger watch that's right. it. right. Yeah, and it was like a journalist stranger, from, like, the journal. And that stranger <laughs> became her dad. That's right. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. yes, that's it. If you let a member of the media watch your children and you don't know them, I think if you're from the South, I think you 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 burn in liberal hell. I believe <laughs> is, what, is what happens. I like I don't know the exact terminology. Literally anybody <laughs> but the media. But I mean, if you do that, like you you're done. You've sold your soul to the devil, man. Like you can't do that. Are you kidding me right now? Um, uh, at one point, he's the reason his daughters aren't in the room is because he says they're upstairs composing the ultimate post, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I just had a kick out of. Is like these two teenagers are a crack staff of having to be like in a lab somewhere <laughs> to get the perfect. <laughs> like we can't just crank that out real quick. They're like nope. they got a board like Doctor House up there, and they're like, no, it couldn't be this. It's better be blah, blah blah. Like that was really really funny to Meet me. Meet you at the meat house. No <laughs> no no. no, 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 no. It. Do something better. Regular. Um, regular regular meat, meat no. regular meat cube back to square one Dang it. yeah that's all i got uh it's time for what the hallmark is where we talk about any questions that we still have that we would like some answers to brian what are you wondering about sure so and eventually i feel like there will be a time where these sisters fight and somebody is gonna pull the he's not it's not your family it's my family card and I want to know what wow. that fight ends up being about. Because something, I feel like something like that is coming. You at think some so? Point. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's all. Uh, Justin, what are you still wondering about? I don't have a question. I just have an answer. The secret ingredient: salt. <laughs> oh, thank you. I thought it was MSG. You think they go Lowry's? You think they go Lowry's? I mean, if you if you're a good person, you go Lowry's. That's right. You go Lowry's. If you're a good if you're a good and decent Christian, you're putting Lowry's on everything. That's right. I know yeah. firsthand. But yeah, at the end they were just like salt, <laughs> salt, salt, salt. S A L T. Um, so I got to be honest. I have a feeling that they said, "How how can we like switch up the classic baking fight?" And they said, "Let's do frosting fight." And I think that they envisioned the frosting, the icing fight looking better on screen than it did <laughs> yeah. because they're yeah, like yeah. squirting icing on each other, but you can't really see it. Like we have a good TV. The, like it was getting lost in the, in the background. It was not like flower fight. Boom. Fun. Bet you throw in all the like sugar and stuff that's going everywhere. The icing fight, I think looked better on the page than it did on the screen. And I want to know if after they shot that, they thought about redoing it as some sort of other baking substance, or if they were just like, there's nothing we can it's, do. It's in the can. There's nothing we Let's can do. Go. Because I, I like it. 
it, I was disappointed. I was yeah, like, oh, we're great. doing a new thing. And then I couldn't like see the new thing. And it wasn't like getting all over their faces like I think they wanted it to. It was it was uh, um, not a mess, if you right. know what I, I mean. I see that was the problem. Yeah. Dan? I have two. Uh, the dude is supposedly the town's sacred record keeper. Yeah. I just want to know how you apply for that job and how that is a full-time job in a tiny town mm -hmm. of Sorrento. And I could be just like, if somebody knows, please tell me. But my bigger one is the aforementioned three reporters from Mississippi. I, I just want to get, like, I want to get this straight in my head and just find out where the, the filmmakers are coming from here. <laughs> so there is literally no media at this event. Yeah. None, except... For one, for one journalist from Texas who happens to be the Père Noël's long-lost daughter, and then three women from Mississippi yep. who've driven down to the bayou to get the scoop. I, I, I just, why? Why are all three of them from Mississippi? Why there's no, either it is a thing or it isn't. Why does this matter to Père Noël's daughter and to three women in Mississippi? That's all I'm asking is what about Mississippi is sending their best and brightest to cover this town's Père Noël along with his long lost daughter? And that's not great for the airline magazine's front cover story that's going to come out in a year no. that it's already being covered it's by uh, <laughs> Mississippi. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we lost our scoop. Yeah. Yeah. That we was lost something. our scoop. scoop and up. they had media passes. <laughs> I know. Real <laughs> live <laughs> media passes. We did. Uh, we did it, everybody. Congratulations. Another episode down. Another one you can go listen to right now because it's out. Go check that out. And we'll be back on Saturday and Sunday. Justin, do you want to uh, to plug anything real quick before we leave? Um, there's a little, there's a little upstart podcast called John Dutton must die that uh -huh. you should listen to. Absolutely. If you don't watch Yellowstone, that's no excuse. <laughs> you just, <laughs> just, just show up and just show up and listen. There you go. Right, and it. do you have a writing? Do you write? I do. I write. That's my job. Uh, <laughs> and currently I'm working on a Christmas feature due in a year. Uh, <laughs> if you, you want to check that out next December, uh, follow me at Justin Kirkland for everywhere. From yeah. what I gather, it'll be on every airline. It's on Allegiant for sure. So you've, you've finally it's, made it. It's only on Allegiant, particularly the route that runs from <laughs> New York to Knoxville. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's a good one. I'm wow. glad they finally did that. Yeah. Um, guys, we'll be back tomorrow. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Noah's name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support.